a two, oh, two, a two, a two. Anyway. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new video. Actually, before we start, I think I want to say thank you so, so much for the support you've shown. Yeah. Um, we cannot go ahead without, you know, showing some love and gratitude back to you guys we really appreciate the shares the likes the comments Ooh, the, subscribers. the subscriptions yeah so to those who have subscribed welcome to our family thanks yes, for joining this journey with us and for those who are yet to subscribe we hope you do like we said we ain't forcing you it yeah. would be good though <laughs> it would be then, really nice to have you guys subscribe um and help and us grow click the notification oh bell. yeah it's kind of there's a notification and, and we bell. keep forgetting yeah, yeah yeah so click the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as we do upload a video yeah um so but what are we talking about today i mean today we're talking about um this little bubble <laughs> over here in case you are not convinced with the stomach we are pregnant <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i think today we're talking yeah. about how we, how we found, found out, out. Yes. that we were pregnant and uh, i think we'll also touch on you know the, the how pregnancy affects the partners individually and uh what we've learned about god throughout the yeah. journey so stay tuned let's break it down let's get into it so how did you find out that you were pregnant miss <laughs> listen <laughs> let me say nah, this guy thinks i tricked him yeah number one he thought i tricked him but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It, it used to get to me. I won't lie. But yeah, um, yeah um, he thought I tricked him. But that was that's 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 past now. At first, I was joking, but as time went on, I thought to myself, "Man, she might have just tricked me." Like, how can I? <laughs> it, it involves two people. <laughs> it does. But tell them the story. Robert. Okay, so um, we're gonna try and cut the story short because it's quite Please. a long one. Number yeah. one. Number two. Um, we did receive some of your questions on Instagram, so it would be nice for us to maybe touch on a few of those yeah. um, closer to the end of the video. So, how we found out we were pregnant, right? I'll start. Um, I was on contraceptives, and mm -hmm. they are called, yes. We were not trying to get pregnant. No, we were not. We were the couple who said we were going to wait for two years, actually, um, or even three before having a child, right? Uh -huh. um, that was our plan. That were we the couple or was I the one who was trying to convince you to wait for two years? He was, I wanted to wait for a year. Okay, I just thought, you know what? A year is fine. It's good enough. I'm growing. I, like, I don't want to wait for too long. And we did say we wanted to have four kids, by the way. Yeah. In fact, not even four. We, I think it was four, it five. Was, it was five. Four exactly. of our own, one adopted. And one adopted. Exactly. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, fine. Um, we've been together for long. Maybe a year we can wait, enjoy ourselves, um, get into this whole marriage, um, you know, journey, um, discover ourselves as 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 a married couple, and yeah. then we can try after a year. And then he convinced me and he said, you know what, two to three years. Yeah, yeah. I think it made sense because we did want to establish ourselves, make yeah. sure that we are okay financially, yeah. um, and that we would be prepared, right? So needless to say, this was not planned. <laughs> at all so like i said i was on the pill um yeah. it's called the yaz pill um loved it completely loved it it treated yeah. me well yes in the beginning first month not so great but i think i'll share that next time when i do make a video perhaps talking about contraceptives was on the pill and then um i happened to uh you know it was that time of the month normal you know uh, my menstrual cycle was quite normal mm -hmm. um and in fact it was really regular it was i didn't give me issues at all and then it just so happened that a few days afterwards i went on again and so here i am first time on a pill i mean i think i started yeah. taking the contraceptive a month before our, our wedding and we agreed on that because we yeah. wanted to see if it was going to um, work or not it was going to work and how i would respond to it so i, I didn't need to you know try something new and, and and we she went on a month before getting married it doesn't mean we were smashed no, having no, no, a good no. time or breaking it down <laughs> no, a month no, no, before no. the wedding that was just purely so for me know. and to see yeah, how my body responds would react to it yeah. yes because i've never been one to take pills and i've never been on the contraceptive before so um yeah so because we were new on the contraceptive i was just like uh, i don't know what's going on so we decided you know what let's just go off the pill for just a few days to see um if your body would adjust or readjust ding, 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 ding. Um, 
and we did that right and i was under the impression that nothing would happen when you have when you're on the combination pill you know um it suppresses your ovulation <laughs> period or ovulation time so you wouldn't fall Ooh. pregnant right ha there i am believe in this moment <laughs> i'm like oh yeah for real yeah yeah okay so i'm told this is where i feel like she tricked me because she told me no i don't think you know it stays in your system for some time so you know what ah oh, don't worry we can go off the country and of course i was also a little bit worried because you know she went on her cycle and then she went back onto us like it started again yeah. so i'm sitting there like oops so keep easy nacho talk ruta los los you know keep easy i really no pull out game just straight oh and i was comfortable with that because i thought nothing would happen I honestly thought nothing would happen. Um genuinely thought <laughs> nothing would happen. Um but I must say and and I think um as much as we 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 say this was not something planned, I do believe that we were slightly being prepared for it. So let's be let's be honest with that one. Yeah, true, um, true, and it would be true, nice maybe true, to share true. um very briefly that they on the I won't mention the the month but it was the 26th of a specific month where mm. I was invited to go speak and prepare uh, before while preparing to speak I remember I had uh, my moment of pre- preparation and God did say to me I'm preparing you for a seed and I knew that the uh, you know the seed was not purpose it was not career it was not I knew exactly what he meant when he said I'm preparing you for a seed and that was the 26th of that specific month and I and I went ahead and I told my husband about it and a few days later I had a dream again and in the dream someone was telling me about us having I won't mention the sex of the she child she was just feeling broody man I listened to him she and validating but did. anyway <laughs> um so I had the dream and I told him listen Um in the dream I I I know the sex and they they told me that the what mm. you know the the name would start with and what the child would represent or what yeah. the child would be here oh, on boy. earth right oh, told boy. him about it um and then it just so happened that a few days literally a few days after that's when we conceived Yeah and funny enough I'm not actually even sure when we conceived <laughs> because last year if you do follow any of her friends and you know social media and Instagram One of her friends or the group or the friends said to the husbands, "Hey guys, there's this challenge that we saw on the Instagram and it's called the Sex Marathon Challenge. Married folks only. You have sex every single day for 7 days straight. Good lord, help me please." And we did it. I love days. it. <laughs> But lord help. Me. And we did it. Listen, we did it. So, here we are. You know, 7 days straight. There was a day where I was just like, "Babe, Nah, I'm like, you know we're both tired. It ain't look. <laughs> It's a muscle too. It needs rest. <laughs> so, and then here we are. Yeah. 7 days later, but then she says we didn't conceive then. No. There was another day. <laughs> but it wasn't then either. It wasn't then either because on I've got a Monday. A... Yeah. It wasn't a Monday. Yeah, it was a good Monday. <laughs> so we decide baby, let's get our free gone, you know? Here we are. We go to yeah. this camp. And we didn't plan actually. We went to a Woolies to go get coffee. Woolies yeah. coffee. See what coffee could do for your marriage. <laughs> we went we to, went get, to coffee. go get coffee. Mm-hmm. And then we found ourselves at this camp. We needed to get something at the pharmacy. Uh-huh. And then he gave me a story, told me a story about some friends of his who tried yeah. something. Um who tried what is it? Um I forget I keep forgetting it's the some name. Some pill that man. helps the guy. You know what I mean? Like Um no. It's like we're a blue pill. Shop, shop, is it shop shoe? No, that's what we got. But you were telling me about a different pill. Nah, it was shop shooter. Ah, okay. So we end was up shop shooter. The what we bought, yes. So and anyway, we yeah. we we're, we're on the <laughs> aisle, right? And we're just like, you know, what, babe, today Not that I needed any help. No, he didn't. <laughs> we were just trying to be an OT and yeah. be adventurous. We were like, man, okay, these things are here, let's try them out. So mm. tonight we're getting some bubble bath. Yeah. Um we're going to get some essential get oils, you know what I mean? Like um we're going to have a beautiful long bath. And then we were like And Makanyani. There's this thing called the shop shooter, right? And it has a reputation of keeping that thing. Like I I want to see Wait how many minute. rounds. Wait a minute. I want to see how Wait many rounds. Minute. Here's how I found out about the shop shooter. I was back home. And so one of my boys, or two of my boys, they're like, "Yo, oh man, I was on this thing and yo, like and I'm like, "Why do you need it?" They're like, "Yo, we were just having fun." And I'm yeah. like, "Okay." So we walk into this camp and I'm like, "Bae, 
Let's try this day now. <laughs> Apparently, it can make you run the whole night. Yeah. You know, you right. So we yeah. that's how we actually found out about the sharpshooter. Yeah, we're not promoting sharpshooter, but hey, no. just just we were just trying to have fun. You could trick your husband some days. Just buy some of those things, pour him in his no. cup. And don't you know, do that because you don't know how he's going to respond to this thing, guys. <laughs> like, come on. But um, he he consented to it. He got it, and yeah, I, we were like, okay, let's get yeah, it, right? Let's do it. Um, but it wasn't that day. We didn't conceive that day either. So we actually don't know the specific day. Yeah, I've got true. an app called Flow that really is accurate, but even then, we're still not sure. Very really, really um, sure. Yeah, and then. What happened, Baba? And then a few days later, I didn't go on my period like normal. For 10 days? Yeah, for 10 days straight, I missed my period. And in that 10 days, guys, can I tell you how many <laughs> how many tests we got? Yo, man. I was just so nervous. And I was like, okay, what's going on? Um, Gamo, I, I, obviously, my, I wasn't feeling well. And I think I wanted to detox. But I couldn't go ahead and detox because I'm like, I'm not sure what's going on. The last thing I want is to just complicate everything. So we had to wait it out, yeah. right? Um, and then the one day we were at we were at the mall, Santon, yeah. and then take after that buying one. after buying a thousand tests, and I mean after the fifth, I was just like, "Go, you tripping? Like <laughs> you keep buying these things, you tripping?" And there was the night before we had Santon trying to like we actually went to Santon to get those uh, those fancy testers. Mm. Still at this camp, get it at this camp. We just went to Santon. So blue. the clear blue fancy ones, yeah. But the whole time we've been buying this damn thing. Yeah. Right? So after a fifth of, of these, and I'm like, girl, you tripping. And then I remember she came into the room with this. And she called me to the bathroom. And it was two lines on it. But that other line was so faint. Yeah. Faint, 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 faint. I couldn't see a thing. So I looked at it and was like, you tripping. And then I was like, no. she called me back. Came to the room with this thing, and she's like, "Dude, look." I'm like, "Yo, there's, a, there's." I'm a like, "I'm looking. Line. I can't see nothing." And I'm like, "Looking," and I'm like, "But I do see a size like a cloud, but the size of a man's hand. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure." That, that line was, was like, there. No. Yeah, you know, you so, know why, yeah. Baba. The reason why is, um, I do a lot of research, and I do understand that there is a hormone that can take a bit of time. I think it's the HCG or the HGC hormone um and it does take a bit of time to to show up in in your urine right and that's why i I was like i'm not sure so i'm going to take a test every second day every third day um until i i'm i'm absolutely sure so when we saw the faint line i was like that that could be that that hormone is only started to show itself right now and that was like it it left us really nervous (laughs) guys please ladies please don't do that to your partner like what like you literally were buying these yeah, things almost every day and every time if i was not in if i was not in Joburg, i'd still get a call every day yo i think i i'm not sure then buy one and then she buys one oh i can't see anything okay cool then you're not and then so like it was literally up and down every day so anyway we at woolworths we're actually looking for a bag or a shoe or something like that yeah then we decide, let's buy it. Let's go to this camp. We buy this clear blue fancy fancy NC one. Ain't nothing to it. Just buy the normal one. You're fine. Uh, so she goes to the bathroom. We go, like, she comes back. She didn't look at it at the bathroom. So we walk into Woolworths now. Yeah, I mean, I'm in a public bathroom. I wasn't going to yeah. look at it and he's not there. We walk into Woolworths and then all we shopping around. I'm like, where is it? She's like, it's in the bag. <laughs> I remember that So moment. we go over to the, like, we pause, like, somewhere. And we open the bag and we look. And it's a plus sign. And we're like, oh, my God. He made such a noise. <laughs> he made such a noise. And we're in Woolies. He doesn't care, oh by the way. God. Let me tell you. And I'm like, hey, we Good are God. in Woolies. Remember that we are in Lord Woolies. Lord Jesus. Um, but oh, yeah, but so, yeah, so that's. We found out in Woolies at the yeah. mall, you know, <laughs> that we were going to be and it's a plus, yes. Um, and yeah. needless to say, we were very nervous but so excited. Um, yeah, I think I, I, I saw him so thrilled, and I was like, yeah. Is this the same guy who was saying, Cabela, just chill, you know, when I was taking all those pregnancy tests? But yeah, he was I mean, so happy. I was saying chill on it because, like, I was like, none of them are coming positives, like, so. <laughs> You're tripping. Yeah. So, but I know my it. body. I know my body and I could feel that, uh-uh. 
something doesn't feel right and i think also having those dreams and having god speak to speak to us in the beginning and him feeling as though uh, i'm slightly warming up i can feel my heart yeah. you know and he knew that god was doing something in his heart i couldn't ignore it we just did not think that it would happen that soon and, and I, the thing is i remember i spoke about it at that conference i was at with the ladies and i think some of the ladies who will watch this today can literally confirm that this girl spoke about what god said to her just a few days before yeah. and i did not think that we would conceive that same month um but hey you know what god 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 is amazing it was unplanned for us but very much i think for i him. think i think here's what the lesson is i guess for us it was a matter of like here's how i move mm -hmm. i don't know how my wife moves she'll confirm how she moves mm -hmm. but here's how i move i make my own plans right but the biggest plan is that um my biggest plan is whatever god's plan is for my life yeah so even if i decide okay i don't want a baby now i would like a baby in two years i'm still open to whatever god has to do yeah. if god decides okay two years is too long let's do it next month cool yeah. I move, I adapt, I'm flexible to that because I know God will never give me anything I can't handle. And he'll never throw anything at me that is not for me. Yeah. So if he decides, hey, you want two years? Now, matter of fact, let me give you five years. You know, I got to always be open to whatever direction he... And these directions are not always easy. Yeah. But when you open like that, man, it makes your life even easier because you can continually trust God. Yeah. But anyway, so... Um, How's pregnancy affected you? I guess we're moving <laughs> on to the questions. <laughs> um, look, this this was not. It was a really an. It was an amazing uh, pregnancy. I won't even lie. Um, I, I I often say to him that I expected this to be hard in in terms of like physically. I expected this to be hard and I think I do want to speak about it when I do have a first and second trimester video which will come out very soon um, it was hard in the beginning first trimester was quite difficult and I'll go more into detail about yeah. that later but uh, apart from that it, it was honestly an amazing uh, pregnancy I hardly experienced a lot of cravings I hardly experienced yeah. a lot of moods I think only now um, I'm starting to feel a bit you know emotional or very sensitive um, but apart from that it was an amazing pregnancy the only thing that gave me issues was my back emotionally that could have been very tough i think the toughest part for me in this pregnancy was emotionally and mentally yeah. that's where the challenges came in and how have you adapted me. to your new body i think i'm adapting a bit well the only thing is um i no longer have perky twins <laughs> <laughs> I no and longer have perky them, twins. In them double days and, now. Um, now <laughs> and so, to be honest, that was quite difficult for me because yeah. I'm not used to the size. Um, and you know, I had to do a lot of you know shopping. Like I'd get brass, like move. I, would, I was moving from this size, brass size to that brass size very quickly, and I just felt like, oh my gosh, like you know, they're no longer perky and all of that stuff. Um, what else? What else was I not comfortable yeah, with? I didn't. I didn't gain too too much. Um, I think I I, I attribute that to, to working out. To be You're honest, big booty. I love hey. the bump. <laughs> it grew. <laughs> um, but yeah. You did. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah I'm, I think I'm learning to just embrace the body I have yeah. now. Um, it's not always easy because there's certain things I can't do and it's annoying. And like getting out of bed, like you know. Um, running like certain things that i used to be able to do on my own that i can't do now and it's not nice because you yeah. for lack of a better word if you if you if your mind is not in the right place you feel a bit useless because you need someone every time to assist you and it's not it's not always the nicest thing so yeah. um but yeah we look on the bright side i am carrying a whole human i'm, I'm man yeah. life is growing a in healthy me. human yeah so yeah. so yeah What's your and, and we'll tell you we'll tell you about the gender suit definitely yeah definitely. how is it for you baba um i think that would be a different type of video you okay. know because i think i think um i actually was sitting and thinking to myself how pregnancy has affected me which i do believe it has affected me both positively and negatively okay. um you know there's thoughts that you get from a man's perspective where you're like ah uh, you know even when you you change even when you change and then 
no matter how healthy you are mentally and also emotionally and spiritually and you know that this is part of the journey she's going to change this is going to happen like the moods are going to swing and it, you know all those things the changes that come with that also affect you your partner male partner uh differently and i mean i was i was one of those guys that was you know that took all the other he experienced stuff. The symptoms like <laughs> i was craving stuff uh I was so easily emotional. I would cry, man. Like, yeah. and I was just like, somebody would come and say, "Oh my gosh, those are nice shoes," and I'd be like, oh "My gosh, I th- thank you so much." And I'm like, "What is wrong with me?" Yeah. So I think the I think, nausea. Did you experience nausea? Just a little bit. Yeah. You know, I, I took on the nausea. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So I think I think I think pregnancy also affects men, but then we don't usually talk about talk it about affecting it. men because it's almost kind of like insensitive. Because women, I'm like, I'm carrying the whole thing, yeah. and you're like, but I'm feeling a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, and I think when we talk about it, it's not to say, you know, we invalidate what you are going through, but it's also something I think we should touch on. And I think probably maybe I'll have a chat with a guy. About yeah, it. I think I think that would yeah. be a great video. So, but yeah, um, what have you learned from? What have you learned about God from pregnancy? Man, God is God is real. God is amazing. God is alive. Of course, um, yeah. I sometimes sit and I'm like, I don't understand how I can be growing life. And sometimes when babies are asleep, um, you can forget that there's actually life in you. And then when baby wakes up, it's like, oh, and you're like, oh my gosh, mm. you're awake. Um, and then just those moments where you're like, okay, baby, I need you to affirm mommy a little. Are you good? And then you you get that kick. Baby Ab is very responsive, literally every time we touch um baby response yeah we're trying so hard, we're trying not, so hard to... not to say the jet like <laughs> yeah uh, but baby responds and yeah. i think what i love the most is just that affirmation in the mornings that hey i'm yeah. here you know um or how baby responds to 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 daddy yeah um, like ooh. mohale can just can just speak yeah. and say i'm here and baby responds all the time or he just needs to and baby and be like yeah, or Mahali just needs to put his hand on my on my tummy and baby responds all the time. They have their moment in the middle of the night, oh, which yeah, sometimes annoys me because I'm sleeping and then I feel baby kick and I'm just like, nah, Baba, we're sleeping right now. Can't you see mom and dad are sleeping? And this one puts his hand on my belly and then they have their moment. And and, and it's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Remember I was, talking, I was talking to some friends and I was saying, I literally miss baby already. Like I miss baby, like I miss my wife when I'm gone, yeah. you know. So and I was just like, is is that is that normal? Is that? But anyway, it doesn't matter because I mean I think for me it's the bond that we ha- we have, mm-hmm. um, even when baby's not here yet. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. So babe, I remember there was a question that was asked: um, Has pregnancy affected our sex life? <laughs> what do you think? Huh? You think, huh? Then, then, then we just listen. Um, I won't even lie. Uh, my libido went down, especially in the beginning. It went down. Uh, yeah, it no. Exist. Oh, I'm just, yeah, excuse I'm me. Just, I'm, yeah, <laughs> um, my libido went down um, a lot significantly, um, but I think it's slowly coming back. Um, slowly coming back <laughs> now. Um, but yeah, I I had to realize how intentional I would have to be. Because just because my libido went down doesn't mean his did. And we still yeah. needed to keep our intimacy going. So it was very difficult because there were moments where I'm like, I don't want to be touched right now. Um, yeah. You know, or, or, or I, I can't like... And that would be two weeks of like, she would not want to be touched. And it's been two weeks. We ain't even do nothing. Yeah. And like, I'd be like, it's been two weeks. You ain't been touched for two weeks. What you mean? You won't be listen, touched no more. Like, yeah. So that was, <laughs> that was quite difficult. And it's something that we needed to navigate um, around. Because it was a bit frustrating on his end. And it was frustrating on my end as well. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it can be it can be tricky. But this is where you need to be very intentional. And I'm, I'm not speaking from a place of... Um, privilege in terms of this is what I did because I had my own mistakes yeah. as well. But I learned in the journey that you know what this 
you know, intimacy and sex is very important in marriage. And so I needed to be intentional. If it meant that today I sit and I'm like, today I'm giving it to my husband. I might not feel like it right now, but I know that as time goes, as he starts, as he touches me a certain way, as you know what I mean? I will get into the mood. So sometimes it just requires intentionality, even if you don't feel like it. For a lot of men, they don't talk about it. They don't talk about how you know pregnancy also affects them because also this this thing of like you don't want to be insensitive because it's the woman that's pregnant whatever 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 what, what. but yeah um sex is one of the things that affects us and if you quiet like if i have to keep nagging you about it uh i'm just gonna get to a point where i stop yeah and what usually happens right because nine months is long yeah you know? nine months is <laughs> nine months is long and apparently even after birth you still gotta wait another six weeks it's long, okay? And you can understand, or not not that I'm promoting it and I'm for it, you understand why a lot of times during pregnancy, a lot of people, a lot of men just go start going out and doing funny things and going crazy. I'm not for that and I'm not saying that's okay, but I'm just saying that it, it pregnancy also affects us in such a way because before pregnancy, you're so used to having sex with your partner. You're so used to coming home and listen, she's trying to make you eggs and some beans, but she's wearing that thong thong and she like all over the kitchen counter and she's like, baby, what you want to eat? You know, so now you pregnant and it's like, penguin every Bye-bye. time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nah, but, but you know, and every time you try to touch her, she's like, mm, mm. And you, or you, just you, the position. Like, yeah. It gets so you know, awkward and every, weird. Everything and, is sore. And sore. And, oh, okay, fine. This position that is not working. Uh, now we have to turn around and... Even <laughs> head is sore. Don't know don't how to give your head lie. is sore. Do not lie because that's one of the things <laughs> I really enjoy. Do not lie. Is that what you're telling the people that? I'm, well, you said it. I said head is sore. I didn't say you like it or you don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now I'm cutting that out. Anyway, yeah. guys, I think that's good enough for today. Yeah. See you on the next vid. From your boy M O G A L E and the lady queen. Cabello. Wow. <laughs> Do's gay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit um, the notification and bell. Hit the notification bell. Also, um,. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, we got to do that thing. No, I'm not doing that thing. Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's run, shall we? <laughs>